Welcome to Heavenly Nosh, the last in our episodes of exploring the Bible through food. So we've been on this amazing gastronomic tour, a food tour of the Bible, starting in the book of Genesis, eating our way through the Old Testament and all the way through the New Testament. And we are find ourselves in the book of Revelation. It is the end of the story, the end of the narrative, and it's a beautiful ending. And really, I, I thought it would be quite cool to just read from the Bible um, because it kind of says it, it says it in a good way. This is from Revelation 21. I'm reading it from my phone. It's, it's a nice way to read. Uh, Revelation 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Isn't that cool? It's really kind of beautiful, and it paints a picture of all nations, all people groups, all tribes and, and languages streaming to the mountain of God to worship him in that place. And again, I hope that you've caught that from the story that all of this is, is a relational story of God seeking deeper relationship with his people, with his children. And, and so I was trying to think through a dish that would represent all the nations and a mix of everything in one place. And when I've done this as a kind of a sit down meal um, for groups, I've done a fruit salad and basically saying uh, lots of different fruits, one fruit salad. And that's heaven, lots of different peoples, different tribes, but one people under God. Uh, but I thought fruit salad might be a bit boring here, so I'm gonna make a paella, a paella, which is the Spanish pronunciation. It's a Spanish rice dish, like jambalaya or a risotto or a biryani, depending on the, the countries that you come from. Um, paella is done in a really big, thin dish, and I will, I will decorate it in a proper dish so you can see at the end. Um, and I had paella lessons in um, in Madrid and in Malaga in Spain, uh, but I've I've kind of condensed it uh, into a cheat today. And, and Spanish people probably beat me um, beat me severely for doing this, but I want to make it accessible for you. So we're going to kind of do that. And paella is an, another one pot dish, so it's got meat and rice and veg and flavour and expensive dimensions. And when it comes out, it's a sharing plate, so it has all these different components it's unity with diversity again which is what heaven will be like um, and you share all together and i think all of those images paint a picture of heaven really beautifully with god at the center so i want to introduce you to this is a rice cooker um, and it's uh, i bought this in i think i bought this in malaysia actually and i would encourage you to try and get one of these they're amazing um, they cook rice really well and then they'll hold them and keep them warm so if you're trying to do something else your rice is done you can forget about it and also this one came with a steamer on top so you can cook the rice and you can steam veg and even meat above the rice as it's cooking magic so in a paella we go to different things the chief ingredient being saffron um, and saffron is not a cheap thing it is the stamen from a crocus now watch how quickly this impacts that water it's so cool um, and give it a little bit of a mix instantly it's kind of it's hard to describe it goes it's yellow but it's perfumed and earthy and oh it's so gorgeous but that will color our rice so i'm going to start throwing things in i've put a cup of rice in already this is short grain paella rice sometimes you can see it as called bomba um, but short grain just simple short grain rice actually will suffice i'm going to put some virgin olive oil in and what's cool with these and most people just in Asia, they'll just cook rice and just kind of keep it clean. But I've started to realize I can throw loads of flavors into this and do a one pot meal right in my rice cooker, which is magic. I'm gonna put in, you can put in some fried onion, but I'm putting in a little bit of just um, kind of leek. Um, I'm gonna put in some garlic. And you could do this with all kinds of things. I do Mexican rice this way, and I put in Mexican flavors, chili and cumin and coriander and sort of mint and makes Mexican rice. I've got a, some, some chorizo sausage here. Uh, 
I like to cut things on the diagonal. I think it just looks nice. Slap it in. I've got some um, barbecued um, red pepper with the skin taken off. Um, I've got some tinned peas. Now, it's kind of gross in one sense, but when I learned to cook paella in Spain, they used tinned peas, and I just quite like to keep things as authentic as I can. So, um, tinned peas go in. It just gives it a pop of colour. I've also got some chicken. Um, I would sometimes, if I was doing it differently, I would fry all this off first. But I want to, again, I'm trying to sort of show you how quick and easy and accessible this is. Um, uh, some white wine. This is a bit of Chardonnay. About a glass. And uh, a little bit of passata, just a little bit of, of, of tomato. Not a lot. I just want a kind of a, a little bit kind of running through it. I'm going to put some salt in there. And I'm going to put in some pepper. And I'm going to also add a little bit of smoked paprika. And this is a, another Spanish product. Um, again, it's really, really beautiful. If you can see the smoked stuff in the supermarket, get it. I use it in everything. Um, with a rice cooker, it's one cup of rice to one cup of water. Um, so that's easy to remember. And remembering I've put in some wine already so not quite a cup okay so i think we are pretty much done other than my saffron uh, which has now gone to a very beautiful color in fact it's reminding me something uh, reminding me of quality time with my father but we won't talk about that and so in that goes and i'm going to just make sure um, that all that saffron is very expensive so you don't want to waste any of it is in there good okay so um, give it a little bit of a mix. Just make sure it's all kind of come together. Again, this is a cheat, so please don't write and go, wow, that was the most, you know, how, how dare you call that paella? Because it's supposed to cook in a wide pan, very thin, so the cooking process is different. But I want you to be able to make it at home, and that's it. So that was, that's it. That will take about 10, 10 to 15 minutes to cook ready to go obviously you could roll that out and off you go so we'll come back and have a look at that in a minute okay so we are coming to the end of our food journey and we're in the book of revelation and we've made paella of the nations okay so it's pretty exciting and remember it's cheats paella okay i might do a proper tutorial one day but for now this is what it is and the story of all nations streaming to the, the mountain of God to worship and to love him forever. And that's kind of what heaven will be like. It's kind of what the church should look like now and it's trying to become where there is lots of variety, but one church, one family under God. And paella is like that, lots of ingredients, uh, lots of complexity, but one paella. And this is a paella pan, I bought this in Spain. And just towards the end of cooking, I put a few pieces of fish on the top. Again, really quite nice snapper. Um, and because normally I would put some squid in, um, but I couldn't get squid today. Uh, and so this is a, a Spanish rice. Give it a bit of a mix. And I, again, I encourage you to get one of these rice cookers. They are brilliant. And they cook rice amazingly, but they do all kinds of things as well. All kinds of like magical things. And it actually really smells so good. It smells like a beautiful paella and I probably could con some people, maybe not the Spanish people. Some nice bits of chicken. In amongst all that. And actually the, the great thing is, you know, that's, that's just two cups of rice. Fantastic. Um, so, and I put a couple of my chicken kind of sticking out. I love making paella. There's something really artistic about it, and uh, it's all about kind of arranging it at the end. And I've got a few um, slices of, of pepper peppers here. So, again, there's an artistry to it, and I think there'll be lots of artistry in heaven. God is an artist. And so there's a there's a, a beauty to that. Um, actually, they look quite nice curling around. And some 
with some parsley and we are good to go and I think a little bit of just a little bit of a glisten of oil and some virgin olive oil on top and one last twist of pepper and there we have it uh, heavenly paella uh, the book of revelation and we've come to the end of our journey and I hope that it's been helpful for you I hope that it's inspired you to to look into the story of God and of, of Christianity because even with all our imperfections as Christians uh, we're still human we're still on a journey of, of, of becoming more like God no one's perfect um, but this story is a, a beautiful one of, of reconciling and restoring mankind into a right relationship with God the whole Bible narrative is like that and we've eaten our way from the book of Genesis to Revelation and I hope that it's it's inspired you to read the Bible. Go read it for yourself. Um, go find out more about the different books that I've referenced or talked about. Watch some of the videos again to kind of help you get your head around it. Some of them are difficult concepts and, and take a while to chew over and contemplate. But the more you contemplate, the more truth gets revealed to you. It's not easy, it's not instant. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey. And um, may God bless you and reveal himself to you in deeper ways. Thanks for coming. If you've liked this, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you another time uh, on another project.